Right, I think I'm going to start this dev blog with an intro given to me by someone on the Mount and Blade Discord. So, here, 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 here goes. Hey guys, Resonant here to give you a weekly non-news on Battlelord. I'm here to read out loud the dev blog you already read three days ago, so be sure to like and subscribe. Jesus Christ, this is a genius. He's, he's caught me. He's, he's worked out what no one else has worked out. Jesus, I read the dev blog. Oh, shit. My job is over. What is the point of YouTube? So yes, welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and I didn't do a developer blog last week because it was... I know I say this every single week, but there was literally nothing, nothing last week, so... I mean, unless you want to look at, like, the textures and stuff. I mean, there was some pretty cool screenshots, so I'll put the screenshots here, but that was pretty last week. Uh, it was just some textures and some of the armors and things like that. But this week, we're looking into the town menu, some of the single-player stuff of the town map, going in and visiting towns. So all these towns are things they serve as your hub and stronghold. You'll be able to use these as your economy, you'll be able to use these to recruit troops, and you'll also be able to use these to make sure you can grow your renown throughout the world, may be socializing with nobles and things like that. Now you can use these towns and cities as much as you want or as little as you want. It depends how you want to go up in the world. Of course, you can even be more of a nomad tribe and go around looting and sacking but never really have a place to settle down where you have your hub. Yes, you'll have some disadvantages in the long run but if making money is your sole cause from quick attacks here and there, then you really don't need one. But on the other hand, if you want to grow a booming economy, save up for the long run and have a whole society system around your gameplay, it's definitely recommended going into towns and cities, claiming them for your own, and upgrading them throughout the game. Now of course, in Warband, when you click on a town, it would go to a full screen. Now it's just an overlay on the campaign map. This is hoping that Tailboards will try and get it more in a fluid experience, and it will be a bit nice for the player going in between the map and into towns as well. Jesus Christ, it's so hot in the UK. I'm going to have to put my fan on. I'm really sorry if you can hear this. Now not only does the menu screen on its own when you go into a town make it more fluid, but they've also tried to do this with all things you can actually do in the town. For example, they talk about in the developer blog Ransom Brokers, where in the game you'd have to go to a tavern, you'd have to go find guys, you'd have to do the dialogue, and then you'd have to sell your guys, and it would take quite a long time to sell prisoners in the tavern to the Ransom Broker. But in this, everything from crafting to Ransom Brokers and blacksmiths and all that good stuff, it can all be accessed from a menu screen. Yes, you can still go up to them and walk through the town and go and speak to them directly, but it's a lot quicker this way if that's what you want to do. Now, of course, because there's so many menu stuff, they decided instead of putting it all onto one, they're going to have sub menus. But that's sort of grand to create a more laid out and an easier to access experience in the menus and going around the GUI. Now, you don't have to go and walk around your town to do all this stuff. As you can see on this screenshot, all the NPCs that are in the town are displayed at the top of your screen. You'll be able to click on them and talk to them through here instead of having to go into the town, walk around, find the one you want to talk to, and do it that way. This creates a much more fluid experience, and you'll be a lot quicker if that's what you want to do to make your visit as efficient as possible but like i said previously you're still going to be able to do everything where you walk inside the village the castles and do all that stuff and look at it from the inside and remember you're going to be able to upgrade all these things as you go on when you gain money resources and experience throughout the world now we'll see on the screenshot we are given we've got a certain amount of things we can do you can go to the castle go to the town center go to the back street which i'm guessing is where they're going to have more of the looters and you're going to be able to meet with gangs and sort them out or you can actually join them and be able to tap certain parts of someone else's town or city so you can choose between whether you're going to be mischievous or a good guy you can also trade with merchants recruit volunteers or wait here for some time of course but that's pretty much it for this week's developer blog make sure you stick around for next week's non-news developer blog but until then guys i will see you in the next one